Okay, here we go. We're given this relation between x and y, which is implicitly defined y is a function of x. Uh, and we're supposed to evaluate y prime of 2 uh, when we're also given that y of 2 equals negative 13. When, and this says the same thing as saying when x is 2, y is negative 13. And just to convince yourself, put 2 in for x, negative 13 in for y, and see if you do get an answer of 2. And you do. Okay. Now, we're going to to uh, implicitly find y prime, which means we're assuming y is a function of x. And that means when we take the derivative of y, we have to also apply the chain rule multiplying by the derivative of the inside. So the derivative of 5x squared is 10x. The derivative of 4x with respect to x is 4. For this term, we have to use the product rule. First function x times the derivative of the second would be xy prime plus the second function y times the derivative of the first would be 1. And the derivative of 2 is 0. Now, we could go to the trouble of solving this for y prime by going y prime equals, take all these other terms to the other side of equal sign, minus 10x, minus 4, minus y, and then divide by x. But since we're evaluating y prime when x is 2 and y is 13, we can substitute right now if you want to. So I'll put in a 2 for x, a 2 for x, there's y prime, and a minus 13 for y, and then solve for y prime, and we get negative 11 halves. And that's the case when x equals 2 and y equals negative 13. Okay. And I'm going to share my screen real quickly. Let's go to Desmos. There's the implicitly defined function in red. And there's the point 2, negative 13, which is on the graph. And here's the equation of the tangent line at that point. Uh, slope is negative 11 halves. We're passing through the point 2, negative 13. So that we would have had a y plus 13 on the left, but I moved it over here. And I could put that into slope-intercept form. But uh, there you go. That's the idea. If you have any questions, post a comment. Um.